Hey guys, it's Ethan. Today I was going to show you how to switch over from rsync repos to uh, git repos. So in this case I'm talking about uh, like an emerge sync and I'll put ask just so I can like show you where it's getting like I guess synced from. Now in this case it's coming from an rsync and the reason that you don't usually want to use an rsync is for two reasons. Now first of all, it's a snapshot, which means that they aren't exactly the most up to date, like it might be like maybe a day or two off at most. And also you're syncing from some dude's computer, which means that if you keep syncing over and over and over, you can get uh, like a temporary ban from syncing as to not, I guess, over flood the requests, right? So using a git repo is faster, more up to date, and you aren't pulling from some poor dude's computer, right? So. Let's get started. What we're going to do to start off is we're going to copy slash etsy portage repos.conf gentoo.conf since we're just sending this file over. And we're going to copy it to wherever you want and call it gentoo.conf. And now we're going to edit the file. So we need to make a couple changes to it. So we're going to start off by changing the sync type. Now we're going to change this from rsync to git. And now we need to switch up this URL. Now, it was before an rsync URL, we're actually gonna change it to https colon slash slash github.com slash gentoo slash gentoo.git. We can leave autosync yes, rsync verify jobs. We don't need any of these rsync related options anymore, so let's get rid of these. And then this sync path we can leave we don't need the open PGP key server anymore. Retry count is fine. All of this down here is fine, except for web rsync verify signature, which is not. So we're going to go ahead and save that file. And now we're going to copy this gentoo.conf to slash etsy portage repos.conf gentoo.conf. We're going to replace the file with the new one that we've just made. And then now we need to do a, a command, which is going to be do our do as rm dash frv slash var db repos gentoo and this is going to clear out all of our existing rsync like uh, repository right we don't need this anymore because we're going to be using the git one from now on so this is going to take just a moment to delete and then we can emerge dash dash sync I'm going to put another ask after it just so we can confirm where it's getting cloned from now you can see this is like a typical git clone And you can actually see right up here, it's saying that it's syncing into the repository, like the location that we just got rid of, but it's syncing from GitHub, the URL that we just put. So there we go, we just synced, that was the entire sync. Oh yeah, I made, I made changes to the LTO overlay file, so that cannot be uh, synced, I'll have to fix that later. But yeah, for, you can see though that the Gentoo overlay just synced really really quickly we didn't sync from some guy's computer it was just straight from the uh, git repo itself so if you're a fan of that good it's going to be much better to do it this way anyways I'm not really sure why we still use the rsync snapshots and of course I got this little information from the gentoo discord server from a, a good old friend in there that helped me out so I wanted to share that with you guys the best way I can which is through YouTube so anyways if you enjoyed this video uh, share it. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of thing. I'm going to be doing one on the Gen 2 kernel soon instead of using Gen 2 sources, so expect that in the near future. See ya.